Good morning everyone. It is currently Friday and we are hitting up some garage sales. First we're going to a community sale, then a church sale, then maybe a few little miscellaneous sales after that. But it should be a good weekend. It looks like there's quite a few sales at and I'm hoping this first sale is pretty good because it's not advertised. I'm leaving really early because the church sale starts at 9 and these first sales start at 8 and it's like 15 minutes away. So I'm going to try to get there early, get through the sales and get to the church sale before it starts. Here we go. Morning. We got the whopping huh? for that. Um, four bucks. You do two on it? Huh? We do two bucks on it? Two now. Yeah, because you don't, do you know if it works? Yeah. It does? Mm -hmm. I'll think about that. I'll think about it real fast. I'm going to go ahead and grab that off of you. Oh, okay. You wouldn't do like two bucks on the bag, would you? It's just dirty. Yes. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. We got two pairs of shorts, the two Patagonias, okay. the Fitbit bands, and the Toomey. Thirteen? Did you do ten flat? I asked you for two on that guy, yeah. and I hit a buck on it. Are these five each? Are they both five? I can't no. see. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do thirteen. That's okay. fine. Are you familiar with those? I'm not. I just thought it was cool looking. It's not, what is it? It's not real. Meaning that, uh, and it's not a reproduction. It's what they call a fantasy thing, where someone has made that to look like a Ford badge that never really existed. But, but it's really well made. It looks good. Not, I've got, they made them for, uh, for I think all four of the Ford production plants during the Model A era. Wow, that's really cool. So yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. And I had the extra one of that Bellevue. I think that one is. Yeah, that one's Bellevue. That's really cool.
my sign or was it the ad? I saw I saw the Craigslist post of both of the sales next to each other on oh, there. Good. So I okay. here I come because there's a I don't know if you have you've seen it. There's a app. It's called the Yard Sale Treasure Map. And it pulls all the listings from oh, Craigslist okay. and puts them on a map for you, and you can just kind of see where all the sales are. Great. Yeah. That's great. How about you? Don't touch it. Craigslist. Okay, good. Thanks. Yard sale treasure map? Yeah, yard sale oh, treasure that's map. That's good to know. Yeah. And it, it plots them all around the map. I can show you it real fast. Oh, that's great. So, this is all the sales that are around Cincinnati today. All those dots. Yeah. On there, and it takes all those all those little postings on Craigslist, and it That's populates a great it. Thing. I'm glad we did Craigslist then. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, no yeah. problem. That's neat. That's just me. I don't like nothing. All gotta be great. Well, thank you. Oh, you're very well. Oh, yeah, it's not PS2. Books. Do you have any games for it? Uh, there might be. I'll look around. It's a bunch of Genesis games. What do you got on the Wii? Same thing, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. What are you asking on normal clothing? Uh, like the normal stuff, like two, three, four dollars. Okay. Piece. Most of it's two to three bucks. Okay. And uh, unless it's new with tags, like uh, five bucks, six bucks. I'm gonna get the stack clothing off you. Cool. Uh, I got a windbreaker, Florida jersey, Cavs jersey, and the Harley sweater. sweater. Uh, do ten bucks, man. Ten bucks. Just like two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine. Yeah, that's cool with me. So that's going to be about it for today. We got a decent pile of stuff here. We got a bunch of clothing, like a Tumi bag and some other stuff. I'll go through it all with you um, when I get home. But I think we're just going to head home now. It's around 11 o'clock or so. Um, and just hit maybe one or two more sales that are in the neighborhood um, on the way home. Good morning, everyone. It's currently Saturday. And today we are hitting up a citywide sale that was supposed to happen a few weeks ago but got canceled due to the weather. Um, it's down in across the river in Kentucky, so a little bit away, but this is usually a really good sale every year, so hopefully we'll find some good stuff today. I just drove past the first sale, and I'm walking to it right now because it's on a main strip, but let's see what we can find today. Here we go. Oh,
You guys don't have any other game stuff, do you? Nintendo, NES, Game Boy, anything older like that? Uh, we don't have any. All right. I don't have a yard sale next week, and I've got a bunch of those. Do you? Cool games, but I'm going to Withamsville, across the river. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, how far, how far across? Oh, by Beachmont? Yeah. That's not too far from me. It's right on Beachmont. Right um, Beachmont. It, what is it, do you know? Uh, I have NES, I have 64, I have some others. I can give you my number. I can come over during the week at some point if you're able to. You can look at them if you like. Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. Can I give you or get your phone number and I'll text you yeah. later this week or Do call that. you? Cool. What about these two? Uh, a dollar, dollar each. each. Cool. Let's do 20 on the pixel and then I'll grab these as well. How much you got on your clothes? Um, I don't think we have anything on them. I think it's like the dollar and a half. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll grab these two off you. I like the motorcycle stuff, so. That's, yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll look through this one real fast. Grabbing these four off you. Yep. She just went inside to get a Nintendo. So hopefully, she said the cords aren't there, but hopefully it turns out to be good. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking really for. It's really dusty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's okay. It's been sitting on a shelf. My son has a quote unquote dungeon downstairs where he plays games. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah, everything gets dusty down there. Gotcha. Does it have games for it or anything? No. Nope. Our games. It was a. It was something that we were going to do. We were going to research gotcha. and see where we can find games and find a cord and blah blah blah, and just have. And just never did it. So what do you want yeah. on that? I'll grab that off you too. Five. Five. Is that cool? Yeah, it's cool. All right. So that community cell actually turned out to be a good. It's just started raining. Um, we searched for about an hour or so, then I just went over to another uh, little community sale and searched there for another like half hour. Um, but now the rain's starting to come down pretty good and people are putting away everything. So we're going to end up heading home, but at that last estate sale, I got some pretty good deals, I think. And, I mean, overall, we did pretty good. Look at all this stuff. I mean, we got like a bag full of clothes, some Harley boots, SNES, Pixel 3, some Harley stuff. I literally just sent this into Amazon like yesterday. Another one. Um, that's My Little Pony's tray, Griswold thing, uh, Ralph Lauren shirt, some other old stuff. I got some shoehorns in the back. It, it was a pretty good day. Um, I don't know exactly what we'll make, especially on the antique stuff. It's not my forte, but who knows? I'll go through everything in more detail here in a little bit. All right, so we just got back home. 
and I'm going to take you guys through everything that I ended up picking up this weekend. I got a good variety of stuff, everything from antiques and pictures to video games to clothing and shoes. So stick around and this is what we picked up. Alright, so I'm going to start here with this antique stuff. Um, I normally don't do a ton of antiques, but these I got a really good deal on, so I can't be too uh, too picky when it comes to stuff like this. As you see here, I got three um, shoe cobblers stands, um, shoe horns I think they're called. I think the short ones are called shoe horns. These big ones are just cobbler stands for uh, shaping and putting the soles on shoes. But I got three stands and four different size shoes for them. Um, I don't know too much about them. I'll probably end up selling these locally. I don't know what I'll get out of them, but we'll see. Next, I picked up this Griswold cast iron heat regulator. Um, I don't know a ton about cast iron, but I do know Griswold is one of the ones you want to look out for. So I don't know a ton about this, but I know some of them can go like hundreds of dollars for some of the cast iron skillets and pans and pots. But uh, so conservatively on this, I'm going to say like, I don't know, 60, 70, because I think this might be a rare piece because I've never seen a heat regulator. Um, high ends, maybe over 100. I'm not really sure, honestly. Here, I thought this piece was pretty cool. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just bought it because it looked neat. Um, but it's a wheat crinkler. It looks like it's from maybe the 30s or 40s. Um, I think you put the wheat in the top and you turn this little handle and it turns the inside and it would grind it up for you and that would drop down into this tray down here. So it looks, looks like it's in decent condition. I think it'll be look nice in someone's kitchen or in the house. Um, like I said, I don't know much about it, but for what I paid for all this, <laughs> I can't beat it. And these are the last two things I ended up buying. Um, they are silhouettes. They are inks. As you can see down there, it's signed deal. And from what I understand, that's um, Lorraine Rose Deal, who was a silhouette um, artist back in the 40s and 50s, I believe. So those are pretty cool. I kind of like these, so you might hang them up somewhere. I'm not really sure yet, but they're pretty cool pieces. And for everything here, I ended up paying $10 for, for everything total. So I should make a decent profit on all that. Um, like I said, antiques normally aren't my thing, but for everything we got, can't complain for 10 bucks. At this sale, I ended up picking both of these items up. This is a Super Nintendo, obviously. Um, it's a little yellowed, and it doesn't have any of the cords or games or controllers or anything. And this game, Professor Lantern and the Curious Village, um, picked up both of these for five bucks. This was sitting out in a box of Skylander stuff and I asked her if she had any other games and she brought out the Super Nintendo. Said that they got it from a family member and they just never never ended up using it. Um, yeah, so for five bucks, not a bad score. I think for parts, if this doesn't work, it'll go for like 25 and this I'm going to send in Amazon and it'll be five dollars profit. Next is just a regular video game pickup. Picked up Crash um, tag Team Racing. I think I picked the same game up like last week or the week before and already sold it, but just as just a bread and butter item. Um, anything Crash really sells. I don't know what this one sells for particularly. I'm going to guess like 10 bucks. Alright, so at this sale I actually picked up a few things, um, but this is one of them. I actually got a better deal on this than I thought. Um, as you can see, she had a dollar on it, and I seen the Fitbit bands, and I noticed the blue one actually had the Fitbit inside of it. Um, and to my surprise, after I, I was like, okay, I want to buy that just for that one Fitbit, but to my surprise, all three of those have Fitbits in them. Um, there's two Fitbit Flexes, the originals, and there's one Fitbit Flex 2. So for a buck, that is a great investment. Um, each of those will go over 30 bucks, I believe. All right, I picked this up this morning. It's a Google Pixel. Picked up for 20 bucks. Um, the screen's in good shape. It had a glass screen protector on it, so in the video you've seen that it was cracked and stuff, but it was just a screen protector. Um, they was asking 25, I at told I'd get 20, and then buy the other two things off of them that I'll show you in a second. Um, but I think this phone goes for around 80 from what I was seeing comp-wise, so not a bad deal on that. All right, so at that same sale, I picked up this Power Rangers um, vintage shaving kit, and 
I just thought this was cool. I paid a buck for it. But what's actually really cool about this is my buddy Drew, if you guys follow him on YouTube here, um, Profit Monsters. I met him through Reyes the Entrepreneur's uh, interview we did with him. And me and Drew talked about our time as resellers. But Drew's getting this. I'm going to send it out to him. And uh, he's going to put it on display in his kid's room. So, Drew, if you're watching, this one's for you. Also at that same sale, we picked up the clapper. Um, this is, I think I'll make like 15 bucks is what it comes out to on Amazon. I literally just sent this exact product in to Amazon yesterday. So, uh, it was kind of weird finding the same product, but hey, I'll take it for a buck. Why not? This is another interesting piece. It's a My Little Pony, um, as you see right there, 1983 TV tray. So on the back it has the legs and stuff that you can stand up. I couldn't find any comps on this, but I've seen on Worth Point that they've been sold before, so I don't know what it's worth. I'm gonna say probably around the same as like lunch boxes and stuff, so maybe around 30 bucks on this. All right, it's actually Sunday now. My camera died, so I had to go charge it. Um, but I'm gonna pick up where I left off. So this is a Toomey laptop bag. As you can see, it's pretty clean inside. Outside, it's got a little bit of wear and stuff, but Toomey, if you guys aren't picking it up, it's a great brand to look out for for bags. Um, this bag, even dirty like this, uh, will sell well. But I'm gonna clean this up, and I expect to get at least 40 out of it, but I'm thinking more like 60. All right, here you can see we have like a Southwestern style um, blanket. It's made of wool, and these are always great to pick up. They sell really well. Um, use the keywords like Southwestern and Serape and like Aztec print, stuff like that. Um, this stuff sells really well. I should get at least 25, probably 30 out of this one. The older ones sell super well. This is a more modern one, but the older ones, like with the heavy wool and stuff, I mean, they go upwards of like 80 to 100 bucks, easy. Here we just have a basic Harley Davidson motorcycles hat. Um, nothing too special about this one. It's a fitted hat. You can see inside it's pretty clean. Outside I'm going to clean up a little bit. But, I mean, I'd say at least 15 to 20 bucks on that guy. Maybe a little more, I don't know. These are the last, like, miscellaneous item before I get into, like, the clothing, clothing. But these are some Harley Davidson women's boots. Um, you can see they have, like, the corset um, braid in the back. But these are some nice leather boots. Uh, the high top boots, they're size 9. I paid $10 for these, I believe. And I will easily get my money back on these. Um, it's a little higher than I normally pay for, like, boots and stuff, but hardly you can't go wrong. You see there's a little wear on them, some pink stuff, but I'll get all that off with some cleaner. But that's another good pickup. I haven't looked up these models, but I would say over 60 for sure. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the clothing real quick. Um, so for five bucks a piece, you can see I picked up two pairs of Patagonia cargo shorts. These are super fast sellers. Patagonia is super hot right now, so anything Patagonia is going to sell. But five bucks a piece on those, I'll get 30 each on them. So next we got some Harley shirts. This one's Harley Davidson of New York. Pretty good spell out there. Just a tiny spell out in the front. A big logo Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt. On the back, it is the... San Francisco print and this one's a woman's hot mama Harley Davidson it's got the tie in the back um, all those shirts and I think there's one more in there I paid a 50 cents for a piece so that's a great pickup each Harley shirt will be at least 15 next is just this basic Adidas um, trefoil shirt it's got the nice big logo on the front very clean shirt and when you flip it over on the back I thought this was pretty cool it has like the mirrored Adidas, so you can see the spellings like mirrored, it's backwards and everything. So I thought that was really cool for the back of the shirt. This is a polo Ralph Lauren denim button front. Um, it's one of the older ones, as you can probably tell by the style. But it's got the polo right there, tags up there. It's got a few little tiny blemishes on like the sleeves and stuff, but no big deal. I should be able to get a lot of that out. Um, but this should go for at least 20 in the conditions and now if I can clean it up maybe another five ten bucks so I've actually been finding um, children's down north face stuff quite frequently recently 
Um, as you can see, it's the North Face. It says 550 right there on the sleeve, which is the amount of downfill there is. So there's like 550, 600, 700, 800, 900. I think 900 is the highest fill, and that's the best. But, but yeah, this is a child's like onesie snowsuit. Um, really good condition, not too much wear on it. And it's a toddler, like 18 to 24 months. Three bucks on that. I paid the full three bucks, but it's totally worth it. I think this will go for minimum 20, um, probably more like 30 though. Here is just a basic Nike windbreaker. Um, it's full zip. It's got the hood on it. Um, just basic black and gray color. Easy sell. This will go super fast. Um, probably 25 to 30 bucks. I'll probably put it up for like 27.50. So here's a brand I don't find super often, but when I do, I definitely pick it up. It's Marmot. Um, this is just a basic fleece, nothing too special about it. But Marmot is like a like a North Face competitor. It's a hiking brand. Hiking brands sell super well, so if you don't know your hiking brands, definitely look at them. This is just a basic fleece. Obviously, I'm going to need to clean it up. It's got some hair on it and stuff. I'll need to lint roll it and wash it, but um, I'd say at least 15 bucks on that guy. Here's some more Harleys. You can see it's got the spell out on the sleeve. A nice big um, Harley patch right in the middle. It's a turtleneck sweater. I think it's a woman's. Um, but I picked this up for $2, I think. Yeah, I think it was like 2 bucks. But picked this up as well as some jerseys and stuff. Um, this one I'll get at least 20 out of. Some more North to Fate. Here's some more North Face. This one is a woman's hoodie. As you can tell, I pick up North Face stuff all the time because it doesn't matter what it is, it's going to sell. But this is just a basic full zip hoodie, um, at least 20, more likely 25 out of that. Here is a Cleveland Cavaliers Nike um, jersey. It is LeBron James. There was this one and there was also a white one, but the white one was really dirty. This one just had a little peeling on the, on the number right here. But other than that, this one's in good condition. Obviously, it's not as desirable anymore because Cleveland kind of hates him. But still, it'll sell. It's a minimum $20 jersey. Next is a Florida Gators jersey. Florida Gators stuff is super hot, um, sells super well. This is a Coliseum jersey, as you can see by the C, Florida Gators. Um, this will go pretty fast, especially if I hold on to it for uh, football season. I probably won't. I'll probably just throw it up now. but. Um, minimum 20 bucks on this, more likely like 25 to 30. And finally, a Pittsburgh Pirates Majestic baseball jersey. Um, it's on the back, you can see it's butt, it's Bay. I think that's Mike Bay. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not too familiar with baseball, but um, I paid a buck for the jersey, so I'm thinking probably 30. It's got the nice stitching, and it's, I think Mike Bay is a vintage jersey, so I'll see on that, but I'm going to say at least 30 on that guy. All right, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and informative. Hopefully it's helping you guys with your sales in some way. But I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for the recent support. It really means a lot that you're coming out here and commenting and liking my video. I know Cincinnati Pickers sent you guys over here, and I really do appreciate all the support and everything that you guys have been saying to me, constructive criticism, everything. So thank you guys so much for everything. Um, and hopefully you stick around and keep enjoying the videos. Either way, thanks again. Keep treasure hunting. Till next time. Peace.